Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Grinchy and I are going to be stuffing these savings challenges that will feed my low priority sinking funds. And look, I got my vacuum. Yay, I really like this. It comes with a little attachment with a little um, hose to get into nooks and crannies and it's rechargeable. I was not ready for that and I really like it. Although I don't know where you recharge it at. Oh, right there. $2.67. I need to come up with a cute face or something for the front of that. Because it's not cute like my ladybug. How much are we putting in here today? All right, we got a 50. That's oh, This is just in case I need to replace some money. All right, so we got a 50. 70, 90, 110. 20, 30. 5, 40, 45, 50. 2, 4, 6, 8, 62, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, for those of you who are newer, the money to stuff this comes from two sources. One, I give myself a little bit of money every month to put in here. This is the money that was for my D binder in the past, and that's kind of, you know, fun things I like to do and saving up for those in advance. And then also the leftover money from my variable spending goes into this. I went through yesterday and recorded my last ever two casino game night videos. And then I just didn't have the heart to go through the process of editing and everything like that because these are extremely difficult videos to edit with all the shuffling and setting up the game boards and all that kind of stuff. So I finished those up. And I have in here a bunch of money. And I'm not going to do this today, but I will be stuffing these into my low priority sinking funds. And I now have the envelope in that binder for these. For those of you who are newer again, when I have leftover variable money, that is the only funds that I have to save for money for the casino on the cruises and for some extra fun. However, I don't need to save it all. So I've been putting some of that aside into this casino game night. Now I'm just going to be using these challenges to feed those, that as well and bring those funds over. When I convert these to my low priority sinking funds, I will leave a little bit of it in cash because I like to take a little bit of cash on board with me for things like tips and spending in town and a little bit of cash at the casino. However, I will be converting some of these into prop money as well. But I'm going to put these aside today because we're not doing a stuff that challenge today. So we're just going to throw these over here off camera. Hopefully they are. All right, I'm back. I have realized I need something cute to put my dice in, but that's a project for another day. I'm going to start with this challenge right here. And I have quite a few of these to move through. So I'm going to just take two dice, but I'm going to do one for each box. So it's going to be a six and a three. Let's color these in and then I'm gonna see if I have change so I don't have to use up all my change so quickly. I'll have to show you my cabinet over here one day. It's actually quite handy. All right, let's see what I have in here for change. Do I have a dollar bill? I do, so I can take a 10 and put back that one. Ooh. And now I can take, you know what? I'm gonna take two 20s and two fives and get rid of this 50. Aha! I was not sure I'd be able to. So I have $100 in this challenge that's now in the bank, 50, 70, 80, and 82. If a challenge is only gonna be like $150, maybe $200, I wouldn't put some in the bank. But as you can see, I have one whole other sheet to go with this and I am not going to leave, number one, three or $400 of cash sitting around my house. And number two, it's not working for me in these envelopes, it's just sitting there. And I know some people do better keeping the cash, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I want it in the bank working for me. Next is Have I Been There? I love this challenge. Let's put the dice away. And I just have cards that I made up out of a set of stickers. And I'm going to draw one if I have been there. I save the amount on the card. If I have not been there, I save double. Boom. I haven't looked at it yet. What is it? Oregon. <laughs> well... 
Is this marked on the back? Yep, okay, this is gonna be a done card. One can definitely say I have been to Oregon as I was born and raised there. So we're gonna mark this off. That's $8, I'm definitely not paying double for that. These are now completed. Let me put these away. Here's my tracker for Oregon. As I'm finishing challenges, I'm gonna stop putting them in a binder and put them in some file folders because I don't like these when I'm coloring. I know, I know. And Oregon's a very green state, so let's make Oregon green. And I'm not gonna fast forward through this today and because we'll just talk. So I know that you all know that I was born, you know, or I, I went to the Pacific Northwest this summer, but I was actually raised in this Columbia River Gorge area. For privacy, I'm not gonna tell you exactly the town, but I spent a lot of time there. That's where I uploaded a lot of the footage in the beginning of my trip. Oregon was an amazing place to settle. However, unfortunately, one thing that Oregon has, which made it impossible for me to go back there, is they have a income tax. And they charge you that income tax whether or not you earned that income in their state when you retire. So if I were to try to retire there, it would cost me 8% of my income. And I did not earn the income in that state. I didn't get the tax benefit from that state when I contributed it. And so I literally cannot afford to pay that in retirement. I will say, however, that the Oregon coast is the most beautiful place in the entire world. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite place. And I recommend anyone who hasn't been there to go, you will not be disappointed. Let's do a little bit of consolidating real quick. 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Well, that worked out. Have I been there? Well, is another one that I have to put some prop money in because this is going to take me a while. But as you can see, $180. And have I been there? That's just a fun little challenge I made up myself. Farkle. Let's move this. Here's my Farkle board. And let's get to it. I'm going to move this aside while I am rolling the dice. Did I put that 50? No, I was even last time. That's right. Farkle takes six dice. I have covered this in some past videos, so I'll do, just do quick explaining. And this is available for a free download down below in the description. Six dice, trying to get three of a kinds or ones or fives. All right, I got one five at least. That saved me from farkling. So that's 50 points and two ones. But I'm gonna save just one of them because the more dice I have left to try to get a three of a kind, the better. If I farkle, which means I don't get a one, five, or any three of a kinds, then I don't get to save anything. I have three of a kind, twos. Oops, sorry, I flipped that over. So, and a five. So now I can go, I can roll all these dice again. So when I count this, I have 200 points for these, 300 and 400. Since my odds rolling six dice are really good to get at least a one or a five, I'm gonna keep rolling. I keep that 400. And now I have five, 600, and I'm going to stop. So that is $6 in this round of Farkle. Let's get that out. And of course, I'm gonna play one more time because that was so low. And I count a penny a point, right? So 600 is $6. Okay, ooh, four fives and a one. Four of a kind is 2,000 points. So that's $20 plus this, so $21. And that is enough. I will be stopping with Farkle. I do think this 21 is gonna stay out. I'll show you here in a minute why, why I'm going to do that. So this first column is 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and $60. I'll put a post-it note on it later, and I'm going to stuff that into Stuff That Challenge. And the reason being is this is going to stuff my low-priority sinking funds, and I can't always wait for, you know, this would be a long time until this is done, so I need to make sure I'm continually feeding those low-priority sinking funds. So I'm doing that either by low-dollar value challenges or by doing things like doing three multiple columns and I'm doing it after this. And so, did I say that was 61? No, $60. So $60 and on 8.23. All right, now I have $21 in Farkle. 
I'm starting again. That was a good way to start that. Okay, round. and the next savings challenge, and I think we can start this this time. And this is from You Know Who, Wendy, over at the Thrifty Sewist. And we have these different colored dice. Let me move this out of the way. I'll put these up here. We have these different colored dice. And you choose a color of dice and then you roll it. It tells you what to save. I am shaking them up like this. And then I'm just going to open my hands and drop one out. And it is two. It is a green. So I'm going to take the green card. And what I roll is going to tell me which one I'm going to scratch off. And I'm scratching off a five. Let's see what it is for my first contribution. Ten dollars. Ooh, Wendy, this is a satisfying scratch. I do not like laminated challenges for coloring because Sharpies are hard to color neatly on lamination. But I love them for scratching. And... Got my new vacuum. Works really well. Actually, sorry to say, easier than Ladybug. So my first $10 is going into this challenge. I'm super excited to start that challenge by Wendy over there at the Thrifty Sellist. Flower Power is mine. We're not going to start that today. We'll wait just a little bit. This is mine. We're not going to start that today. Next is this domino challenge by Frugality is Life. I do not have any dominoes, so I just rolled two dice because those will equal those numbers as well. Do I have a six and a two left? I do. All right. I'm going to color this in and be right back. Yay, another $8 going into this challenge. And do I have change? I do. So let's take a 10 out. And then let's take these two 10s for a 20. And wait a minute. I have two more tens for a 20. All right. I need smaller bills for these. Let's count what's in this challenge. 20, 40, 65, 7, 8, and 9. $69 into this domino challenge by Frugality is Life. Next up is our serving sloths. I'm going to tell you one thing about Liz's challenges is I never want to complete them early because they're too much fun. I'm going to do this little surfer. Is he on a banana? Nope, he's on a surfboard. He's riding this wave right here, and he is $8. These are just too much fun. I just don't ever want to complete them, and so I am not tempted to do more than one each week. These are from the wonderful Liz and Les, and I know she's doing a restart or a revamp of her channel, so everybody stay tuned for that. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna have some change. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, and another, and another five, good. Some of these challenges end up with all the small money in the end, but that's okay. So now my total for sloths is 20, 30, 40, and 45 dollars. That seems about right for those little serpent sloth guys. They are going to buy some more wax for their board. No, they wouldn't do that because that makes you go faster. And I think a sloth would be all about going slow, right? A little white van takes an adventure. And I stopped right here. For those of you that are doing this challenge with me, I know there's a little bit of confusion. I pre-colored in some of these greens and I pre-colored in the reds. If you land on one of these pre-colored greens, you can skip that if you would like, because that means you were safe. You felt yourself getting tired and you stopped for the night. If you land on one of these reds, it means you pushed and traveled too many miles and you need to pay double, all right? Let's see where little white van is taking me today. And I was right here last time on this $4. We're gonna roll one dice. And three, one, two, three, one dollar. I'm of course gonna do more. Little white van needs to be in more adventure than that. And six, one, two, three, four, five. And we're starting again, six. So now that's two dollars. And I can still afford more. And two, one, two, and that's three dollars. I am gonna go ahead and pay that but I am going to use a darker color to color that in. 
Ooh, it's pretty wet now. It's tearing the paper. That's okay. It'll look sloppy. Then another $2. And let's go one more. And two. One, two. Truck stop was free for the night. <laughs> I am not accomplishing anything here. I'm not adding to my savings. So the idea with a truck stop or a rest area is what they call boondocking, which means you're not paying for a site. You're just going in there, sleeping for the night, and heading out. One, two, three. I've already done. One, two, three, four, another dollar. That's going to make five so I can make change. I'll put these back and grab a five, and five goes into a little white van. That was a lot today. 20, 30, 40, 55, 57, 58, 59. Next to shut the box, and this is the low budget way of doing this. Two dice. Oops, sorry. Two dice. Let's get going. Four. Let's do four. I just said divide by four, and there's four. And 10. Let's do, I want to get rid of the nine and the one. And eight. Ooh, let's get rid of that eight. Two. This is why everybody says keep the two for those dreaded snake eyes. Six. All right. And four. Yep, that's it for me. So seven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's just do $4, and we'll go again. I'll color all those in when I'm done. Seven. Three. I'm getting all the ones that I didn't have last time. And nine. Good. Get rid of that nine. And seven. Let's do six and one. And nine, five and four, ooh. Ooh, if I get a 10, I win, shut the box. I got an 11, okay. So this is 10, so I had 10, 17, 25. I'll tell you what, let's just do $10 into shut the box today. I'm totally winging it on this. This game kills me and I don't want to have that much money just sitting in this binder not working for me. Therefore, I'm doing some lower amounts because it's, you know, takes about a month to complete one of these cards. I do not like Mr. Pins too messy. So now I just have $20 in this challenge instead of what it would be at full price, which would be a lot of money. I have color and save. And last week we saved $10 of this 19. Let's see if I pick the right orange. Nope, but that's okay. It shows that I, uh, did it in two parts. This is a great way that you can use a challenge that you would not normally have enough money on a weekly basis to stuff. I just saved part of it. I could have divided it in four and saved $5. Whatever I needed to do, that allows me to use this amazing free challenge from Alicia over at Hands and Bands, but I'm not having to tie up a bunch of money that I don't have. So this is just a great way to take advantage if you need to. And let's see what change I have. Five, seven, nine, and 10. Let's do that. Okay, and this is gonna be a total of 200, 50, 70, 80, 90, 110, and 11, 111 dollars. I don't feel I need to put a prop bill in here yet. Maybe next time. Because I still have like $90 to go. We'll see how. Because I might do some of these as bonus and extras. So we will just not do a prop bill yet, but maybe next. Next is my challenge. I just made this by taking stickers from a Hobby Lobby pack, photocopying it, assigning values. And we're going to do another $10 into this. This was going into my medical deductible, which now I just moved My Life Happens into this binder which is like a mini yearly emergency fund for things that, for things that come up during that year. One, 10, 20, 30, two, three, and four, 134, because as you can see, I have a lot of stickers in here that are left. It's gonna take a while. Yay, I'm doing another fun one from Wendy over at the Thrifty Sewist. And so this one, you grab, you grab a card and then you roll a dice to see which one you want, or you could just pick one, whichever you wanna do. I'm gonna grab a card, I'm not looking. What did I grab? A suitcase. So that means I'm going to be down here in the yellow. I'm going to start with here. And I got a three. One, two, three. I am going to be saving this money. 
15. Woo! That's a hefty way to start. But you know what? This is stuffing my low priority sinking funds, which is, you know, all stuff that's, I mean, there are some responsible things in there, like a little mini emergency fund, but there's a lot of fun in there too. So I don't mind stuffing this binder at all. Okay, this vacuum's way easier to use. And $15 is gonna start off this challenge by Wendy at the Thrifty Sewist. This is a challenge that I created myself and it is the odds are in your favor because if you don't know it by now, I love odd numbers. We are rolling two dice and where they intersect is what we're gonna save. Six and a three I've already done or three and a six I've already done. I wonder why I'm getting that so much. A one and a four or a four and a one. Let's do the seven today. I feel like seven. I'm gonna color this in and be right back. I am really working on being okay with taking my time to color so that I can color neatly. And then I just use a white gel pen if I went outside the lines. I know, but trust me, I have quit my share of challenges simply because I couldn't stand to look at them anymore because they weren't neat enough. So $7 is going into the odds are in your favor. And now this challenge has 20, 35, 37, 39, and 41 dollars. Yay! Next we have some scratch-offs, and these are scratch-offs that I have created. And let's just do this one, my little sloth guy. This is the one I was working. It's a total of $50. As I complete one, I will transfer this over into my completed low priority binder. And this one's just gonna come off. And you can see under there it's a four. I'm not happy with these. They're, they're one by two inch and I just cut them myself to make one inch squares. I just did them for me so it's not you know a bad thing, but this is why I tend to not wanna sell anything on Etsy because I would hate to put that out there to sell and have it do that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 13, and $14. I don't need any change in there. All right, and a couple more that I just made the other day having fun with these. And these are just two of the challenges. I didn't have any of these in my repertoire and I wanted them. It's where you save things and then you mark it off. And I don't want these to be too big of a challenge to complete. So I'm gonna do each one at $5. I'm just gonna do one at a time. I don't know about you, but when I go out to eat, this is the stuff I buy, fast food. Try to pick a color that's in each condiment. And let's choose this burger here. And do $5. I probably shouldn't have colored that on top of the other one. For the tomato. Although I'd never eat tomato on a burger. That would be a vegetable, even though it's a fruit. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see how much I have left. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I still have $35 left. I have some extra in this because I was gone so long. You know what? Let's do a couple of these on this color challenge. So let's start with 15. $15. One of my favorite things about this challenge is the thick lines. It's really easy to color them neatly. Do the 12 and the eight. So two, four, six. 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 12 and 8. Okay, I got two more of these done. That is super exciting. Let's add all this in there. I'm definitely going to do a prop bill now because I have all this small money and I need some small money. Let's see what I have first, and then I'll see which bills I want to take. 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 15, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's do 50, 60, 5, 70. I think I have to do it this way. 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 90, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. And then I can leave a little bit of small money in here for making change. Let's double check that. All right, taking this prop bill. I'm gonna set this over here to the side. And now this has a hundred and what we say, $46, $146 in here. As I said, I might do these as bonus, which is why I decided to do prop money and take this to the bank. But this was a good one to put some extra money into. Um, all right, I've got this money that I am going to be putting into my low priority with a sticky note that says Sparkle. I had the other money that I'd taken to the bank and I made some start a start on Wendy's savings challenges today. I think this is a, an amazingly productive day for me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And as you head into the weekend, have some glorious fun. Bye.